How do you know if your bearings have been safely installed? The Unisys Portable Proof Load Kit tests for the correct installation of a bearing for either overhaul work on an aircraft or on benchtop assemblies. Portable systems like this are great because a single tool kit can be easily modified to work with many different types of bearings. The key parts of this kit are the load cell, which is assembled in the pusher cup and sits in contact with the bearing V-groove. The load cell is read by the handheld load display and the DTI assembly, which is mounted onto the bearing, giving us a precise measurement of its linear displacement under a defined load. In our demonstration, we've made sure all surfaces are clean and lube-free. So let's see how it works. First, connect the load cell to the electronic display turning the collar clockwise to secure the connection. Power on the display by pressing and holding the power button. The display identifies the attached load cell and begins calibrating. Now that the load cell is live, you can see the peak load, the tracking load, and the valley load. Next, mount the DTI assembly so that the draw rod passes through the bearing bore. Gently push the cylinder flush with the housing. If your assembly requires an adapter bushing, ensure it is inserted in the load cell before. Fit the load cell by making sure the pusher side of the cell sits comfortably in contact with the V-groove of the bearing. Now thread the nut onto the draw rod and finger tighten. Make sure that there are no gaps between the components and the housing. Let the component self-align before loosening and finger tightening the nut again. Take care not to over-tighten so as to avoid excess pressure being applied prematurely. Turn on the DTI gauge, making sure the units of measurement are set correctly, and zero the reading. And finally, reset the load display by pressing the tear button. To perform the test, gradually apply torque to the nut until the desired load is achieved. When finished, record the linear displacement value as indicated on the DTI gauge and the peak load applied. The displacement of the bearing determines whether the installation is successful or not. Speak with our engineers to discuss the optional software package. This extracts the raw data which can then be evaluated in more detail. When testing is finished, make sure you turn off the indicator prior to disassembly. To test the bearing from the opposite side, simply rotate the configuration and repeat the process. If you need to modify the tool for use with a different bearing size, simply remove the circlip with circlip pliers. Be careful when installing the load cell again. The raised bore of the load cell must be in contact with the nut. Please consult the instruction manual for a visual representation. Many customers prefer to have multiple load cells. This avoids any risk of damage to the load cell during the changeover. When modifying the DTI assembly, loosen the thumb screw which releases the DTI gauge. Then assemble the gauge onto the desired assembly. Make sure the gauge head is fully inserted before tightening the thumb screw. Alternatively, multiple DTI gauges can also be provided to avoid this step. The Unisys Portable Proof Flow Kit is a simple and flexible solution for verifying the correct installation of bearings. The tool proves with tangible data if your assembly is safe and successful or not. In addition to all the standard sizes, we can also supply proof loading equipment specifically designed for your components. So if you have any features, lugs, or dimensions that might present challenges for the standard tools, please get in touch to discuss your requirements. Thanks for watching. Find out more at unisysbearings.com.